Greetings and salutations. Thanks for clicking on the video. Today, Tectronic Falls is gonna reveal some secrets about virtual machines. You know, people, you know, they frequently ask a question that is, is it possible to have more than one operating system in a computer? So that's why I made this video. What is an operating system? Now we can see that the application needs to communicate with the hardware. For example, the applications are notepad, Photoshop, games, etc. For example, while playing games, you know the games need to interact with the graphics card, which is and hardware. So the applications can't directly, you know, communicate with the hardware. It needs some sort of translator or some sort of you know support, some sort of interface. So that's why an operating system is used. An operating system acts as an interface between the application and the hardware. So whenever a Photoshop needs to, you know, communicate with some sort of, you know, CPU, RAM, it needs to, you know, uh, contact the operating system. And the operating system will give some support for Photoshop to communicate with the hardware. So that's why an operating system is used. And here are some examples of some, uh, you know, operating systems. So Windows XP, Windows 7, 8.1, 10, Windows Server, Linux, Mac OS. So these are some operating systems, which are most common if, you know, if everyone knows these operating systems. Okay, now we are in the question. Can we have more than one operating system in a computer? For example, now see this particular computer can run multiple operating system that is your Android OS. You know Android OS is a Linux based distribution. You so you might have been knowing that. If you don't, here's the fact Android is a distribution of Linux. Okay. Um, Linux distribution, if you guys know what they are, I'll make a separate video for that for my you know upcom upcoming classes. Okay, so you have you can run Windows Server, Windows, Mac OS, Linux. So you can run different operating system in a single PC. So how is it possible? Yes, you can by using a virtual machine software. So what is a virtual machine software and how does that work? Okay, now this is an block diagram descripting how the virtual machine works okay now see on the bottom layer you have the physical hardware which I already told you the CPU RAM you know all the you know physical hardware are something like you can touch with your you know your hands you can feel them that that's the hardware okay and your host operating system I'll come to that that's an hypervisor, guest system, and guest system, guest system, and they are all virtual machine, you know, running together. And on the other side, you see other applications on the host operating system. Okay, now let me tell you what uh, these components mean. I already told you physical hardware is, uh, you know, the components that you can touch with your hand. Okay, now host operating system. Okay, that's the main operating system for example if I'm running a system and I have installed Windows 10 on that you know that's my main operating system Windows 10 is my main operating system and on that main operating system which is my Windows 10 operating system I can run multiple guest operating system okay I think you're clear with that I have one main operating system which is the you know uh, uh, the Windows 10 operating system and on top of Windows 10 I'm going to run many different operating system okay and the hypervisor is the person who manages it all it's some components it's some libraries that manages different virtual machines because if we have more than one you know operating system it's quite difficult to manage so this hypervisor will take care of 
all sort of managing process like you know process scheduling memory management and so on and like that so that's the job of the hypervisor so you have the hardware and you run a main operating system and you install an hypervisor software and that hypervisor software will you know help to manage all the different virtual machines that we want to install so that's how a virtual machine works so examples of virtual machine software are the virtual box which is an oracle product vmware and parallels so people you know they mostly you know commonly use vmware and oracle virtual box parallels is also a good virtual machine software but Mm, you know VMware and VirtualBox is much more compatible uh, compared to parents thank you and that's all about virtual machines and on my next video I will be showing you how to configure VMware which is a virtual machine software followed by a video how to install Ubuntu Ubuntu is a Linux distribution okay using a VMware and followed by Linux file system structures or Ubuntu is a Linux distribution. So you need to know what you know how the file system structure is okay in Linux. So that's what I'm gonna teach you in my upcoming video. So like, share, subscribe, and if you have any doubt regarding these videos, please do comment and I will reply as fast as possible as I can. Thank you.